Hello, hi, it's Liz here. Long time no see. Sorry about that. More about what I've been doing uh, later on in the video. But I've got my YouTube ideas book out and I have jotted down an idea that I'm going to do today. So we've done all the ideas from before. This is a little journal I made using the Daphne's Diary cover. Um, and some odd bits of paper. So today I am going to take inspiration from Melina, uh, Melina Pilant on YouTube. Uh, dress up book pages using scraps, mixed media and stamping and it's the hashtag MS Scrap Busters which I will use on Instagram and, um, and on the, the video. So yeah, I've got a slightly different take um, for one for a few of the pages that we'll do um but by and large it's the same as melina uh, made them so yeah so thanks melina <laughs> so to get me into the swing because i've not been at this desk for over a week um i i made a few before i came on uh, just to make sure that i hadn't lost any <laughs> any of my so-called skills of um, doing these. So the basic premise is you are making, uh, mass making a bundle of pages ready to be slotted into a journal. Now, it would be like, you know how like when you're putting together a journal and you know, you gather all these pages like I've done for this one. But you go into your box and you think, oh, there's a nice page. I can just immediately use this one as part of one of your signatures. Now, obviously, if you're doing a themed journal, you might not want to have uh, use any of your pre-made ones, and that's okay. Um, but if you want to mix them in with a themed journal, because it's nice to have things mixed up, um, or, you know, just make a random journal using these uh, pages and not keep them all in a box. Just put them all together and um, like, you know, you can easily just make up a signature by using them all just like that. And there's one signature nearly good to go. So, but I'm going to keep mine loose in a box. Now, the other thing I was thinking of doing with them, let me just take them apart and get one. Let's, let's look at this one. Is you could always find a page in your journal that's just, that's just plain, like, like this page. And you've left one of the pages blank on your uh, page that you're doing. We'll use the word page all the time and all you could do is just simply glue it in and you've got a decorated page and a page ready to be decorated and you've got some writing space or you could put a pocket on it um, and and I haven't overly decorated any of it I've just kept to kind of the corners because that's what I like to do um, so you could also do that stick them down you could Stick it down there, leave that side open, and then that becomes a pocket, and then that just still flips, but you've got a pocket there. So there's all sorts of things you can do. Okay, so let me just talk you through what I've done already before we make some together. So this one is just some stamping and two floral, I think they're Tim Holtz ones, and washi tape joining the two pages together. I have kept the rough edges to the outside because I do quite like that look on the outside of a journal. Because after all, it is supposed to be a junky journal. These are just simply um, two stickers and a little piece of um, paper, like a little tiny like the kind that comes in the Your Creative Studio. It's from, like from a wee map book. And then much the same, three pieces uh, of papery things there, two pieces there and a sticker. And nothing on the back of that one. 
and much the same little little bits little tickets little stickers bit of paper little sticker and they're all joined by using washi tape on either side and then folding it into a page this is some um what do you call it texture paste through a stencil and then the pages just joined up i don't think there's anything in the middle there no nope. and then simply washi tape on this one and then this one's a real bit of grunginess it's just uh, some uh, distress ink and just use the like that <coughs> Just stamp it straight onto the page and then give it a little spritz with some water. My coloured water because I must have put some ink in there at some point. And a little bit of stamping coloured in to match the colours there and a little washi tape there. And that's just a kind of grungy one, a kind of mixed media grungy one. So that's us. And it's a good idea because it means if you're... Uh, like one of these people that don't like to put the writing in like that way round like if you had to make it now there's nothing wrong with that and I do it all the time myself but I know I do read that some people don't like it and like the writing always to be up and down um, then it just means that you don't need to do a fold and put that in a signature it means that you can have it and you just stitch through the washi and into your into your book. So I've got this part of a book. I used the cover to make a ring bound journal and um, so I want to use up these pages. So I've got two loose pages but my, I don't think Melina did this, I was able to get the pages out without splitting them. So if you get a string bound book, you can find the middle of the signature where the string is. Like, so there's the string that's holding this together. So we can give that a little snip and there will probably be other bits. And then you can just get that page just slides out. There must be a, yeah, another wee bit of string up there. That page just slides out and, and if you don't fancy the washi down the middle, then, you know, there you go. Now, I think with these old books, I would maybe still be inclined to put something down the middle. I've seen people using the surgical tape, which means it's not as noticeable as using um, a, a coloured or a patterned washi tape. But it's a wee option to keep them together and you should be able to get all the written. This book is absolutely, it was falling apart when I got it. So there's another doubler and another doubler. And so, and that's just a loose one. And so then we go and we look for the next bit of string. There's a bit of string there. But, and a Somebody has coloured this this in. Must have been a child's got a hold of this book. Anyway, you get the idea. You find a bit of string and it keeps them together. So I think we've got plenty out. We've got all of these. Let's do a couple. That's a doubler. Let's do some single ones. We'll just move them to the side for the moment. Now, we will decide we want the rough edge on the outside. So we'll keep the two straight edges together like that. And then now we can decide for how we're going to what we're going to do to it to just take away the plainness of it all. So I've got a few stamp sets here. Some favourite ones. I've got this one. Stampers Anonymous. Schoolhouse. 
this is a very favourite one, faded type, Stampers Anonymous, and this one is eccentric, and this new one, which just came the other week, is Paper Artsy Hot Pick HP2401, and it's got Pictureless, Light Your Fire, some birds, Echoes of the past, tortured texture, rust is a must, aged to perfection. I think that, well, I was going to say I think that's me, but I'm not sure I have aged to perfection. <laughs> no, certainly not perfection. So I think I'm just going to keep it easy and use those stamp sets. I've got some Distress inks, a wee variety of colours. And I've got my two Versafine ink pads, my black and my sepia. And yeah, and I've got a whole little tub of my black and white washi, which by and large is a, 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 a um, all create. Uh -huh. A A L create. I never know if it's all create or a all. I don't know. Anyway, oh, and I've got my wee tray of bits and bobs to make little focal points. So, I think we're good to go. And I think the first thing we'll do is do a little bit of stamping. Because I liked that black and white one that turned out really well with the, the lettering. So I think we'll do that again. And I think this time we'll use this one. And let's see if it's going to stick. Yeah, well enough. <laughs> well enough. This is my new juicy Versafine. Right, so our washi tape's going to go up the centre there. So I'm going to decorate this corner and perhaps towards the upper corner there or in the middle so I think I'm just going to go off the page a little bit go down there right now let me just get my little wet wipe and up here now I wonder if it's juicy enough to do a little faded effort. Yeah. Okay. So, so far so good. And let's think a little bit of washi, I think. So we can choose Here's some butterflies. We've not had any butterflies yet. I hate that some washies are... I don't know how to stop that. They come from that side. I like to peel it that way. They must be wound round the spool in a different way. Have you ever noticed that? We'll do that there. See, it's just a touch of decoration because you might want to add once, once you've chosen a journal that it goes in, you might add a little bit more to the page. And you don't want to cover up. It's not. I don't. I don't think the point is to have it good to go. I think the point is to have it started so that maybe when the time comes you don't feel kind of overwhelmed. Um, let's see. There's a butterfly. Might be quite nice there. And then we can maybe put one of these there and I think 
that's that's it for that yep yeah so my absence from this is I'm having a little as you know or maybe you don't know we're going to be moving house or fingers crossed we're going to be moving house we haven't signed on the dotted line yet we're waiting on to hear from our buyers how they're getting on because it's all a bit of a chain so it might be a few weeks yet before we hear anything about dates when we're actually moving fingers crossed that we are actually moving so um, in view of that and plus it just needed done anyway I have since changing direction with the old paper craft because let's use this to join up I was card a card maker and a scrapbooker well card maker mostly and with a with a touch of scrap traditional scrapbooking if you like um, I still had lots of stamps, rubber stamps, polymer stamps, clear stamps that were all very, I mean I loved them, but they're very cute and not, so I had two boxes of them that I thought, well they're too, too good to hand to the charity shop because that's what I've been doing with things that I no longer need. I've been donating them, like, you know, some half-used paper pot pads and putting pads together and deciding, right, I'm not going to use that anymore. That's, that's pretty nice, isn't it? That's good. So you can have it that way and, and still to decorate the front or you can have it that way. Yeah. So yeah, so I've given away boxes and boxes of stuff to the charity shop and I have been organising the stamps that I no longer use. So this one's already joined but we'll need to decide or maybe I'm just going to leave it until... I think we'll decorate the outside this time maybe although it doesn't matter because it could still go that way don't know anyway <laughs> right let's think maybe we will do some of that um, inky stuff so this is Victorian velvet so oh that's juicy and maybe some off the page um, yeah, so I've been adding my cute stamps, which I don't use anymore, to eBay. Lots of really good um, sets. Right, and then we'll give that a wee squirt, I think. My favourite things, um, what else? Alt New, um, oh, lo loads and loads of stamp sets with matching dies, some of them. So they've been doing really well on, on eBay. I'm thinking maybe I need to leave this one now and go on with something else until that dries. Maybe just give it a little mm. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab this other pad that I use to soak things up Yeah, so I'm having, I suppose, a bit of a declutter, a bit of a de-stash. Because I don't think 
I haven't, I've been doing this sort of thing now for a couple of years more, I think. Oh, that's quite nice in that too. There's another two, nearly ready, right. Let's sit them over there. <laughs> I run out of room. Oh, and I think this needs to be dried. So let's just give it a bit of a dab. There. That's better. And then I can show you if it, if it dries quicker. Yeah, so... I don't... I definitely don't want to take any of the... Whoops, I shouldn't have done that. Looks like it's been wiped now instead of just... Anyway, it's fine. That's, I think, well enough. I don't want to take anything to the new crafty room that I'm not going to use. And I've been doing this now, and happy doing this, more than happy doing this, for, must be three years, I think, maybe more. Okay, let's, let's break open the new stamp sets. So for sure, I'm not going to use little cute people and little cute characters, and although I still love them, the reality is, um, they've not been used in three or four years and they're not going to get used. So. Right. Tortured. Let's do. Let's do the birds. Right. Where is my birds here? I'm trying not to get ink in my fingers. So, yes, determined not to take anything with me that I'm not going to use because at the moment, you see, I've still got all the card making stuff, card blanks, all the dies, all the stamps, and now I also have all the junk journal and stuff. Oh, that's a little bit squinty. I don't think it matters. It's a branch of a tree. And let's do the same again up here without inking it up there. Um, yeah. So I've got like, although it's the same hobby, it's like two strands of the same hobby that really I can't keep all the junky scrap paper and secondhand books and everything like that. And also I'm trying to think what I want next. I think maybe I'm going to add some washi tape. Because I've got this that's got the nice words on it. Proud to be an oddball. and creative people because of course when it's in a book these pages won't be together unless they're in the center of a book right and maybe this one this has got little wee touches of colour in it. So, so that's what I've been doing. I've been getting organised before the big pack up. Because there's no point in packing things that you're not going to use. And plus it means I'm getting a little bit more, the, you know, I did, I'm not, I wasn't sure when I was doing it, but once you've added all the bits, I do think it's quite nice. And I wonder if I need washi down the middle, but I'm going to leave it just now. And, I'm, and I've got little touches on the other side too. 
which is kind of cool. Yeah, I think that will do that one. Right. Yes, I'm determined not to take because in the new room, at the moment, you see, I've got this big white IKEA desk and it's attached to the cubes, the white Calyx cubes. And, right, now, instead of stamping a background this time, let's add, let's add something like this. Yeah, I'm going to be getting new furniture for the crafty room. Well, it's not new. It's the cubes that are in our lounge at the moment. And it's still the Calyx cubes, Calyx cubes, but they are... I'm going to do it the other way around this time and do the lower one here and the higher one there. But the ones in the living room, the lounge, are much posher looking. They're grey, they're two-tone grey, the cubes there. And I just think that'll be so much nicer because there's not any room, I don't think. Well, it's not that there's not any room. We're going to get new shelves for the new living room, I think. Is that too squarish? I think that's too squarish. Now, do I want it? Maybe that's better. Yeah, that's too big. Um, yeah, so I'll be getting new cubes and I'll be getting a new desk. And there just won't be as much storage because at the moment I've got cubes all the way down and round to the wall behind me. And um, glue, then it's there. And yeah, so there's just going to be there's going to be plenty. Don't get me wrong, I'm going to have plenty room because I've got a whole room. But I just want it to look tidier. I want it to look less less crammed full, if you know what I mean. So I'm looking forward to that. But before we get there. We have to de-stash. Right, which way round was that? That way. So I'm going that side. Um, so yeah, so people have been buying up my stamps. And I can only post in the UK. I went to the, po in fact, I have a story to tell there as well. I went to the post office because I've also been, that's all my stamps are on eBay. I've been trying to sell a few of my journals, my ring bound journals that I made with my cinch and actually the book covers from these old books and um, yeah, I went to the post office with a box, um, let's do the pencils and the and you'll never guess how much it was to post one of the journals in a packet of the paper pad paper 18 pounds oh my goodness i don't i, I should have looked up how much that is in dollars but it's a lot. I mean, I'm only charging like just a wee bit more than half of that for the actual book itself. So it's just, it really is too expensive. I would be, I wouldn't want to charge anyone that amount of money for one of my little journals. So, 
there we go and i think we'll add a little bit of color to that i have got my i shall have to go and get them right let's pick out a few colors nice colors that will do see how we get on with these for the moment so these are zig clean color kunitaki and this is light violet so we'll just do a violet pencil a green pencil a blue pencil another blue pencil because this person's actually made a mistake and bought two blue pencils <laughs> and two green pencils. Right, and we'll do the same with the world. Obviously, the land will be green and the sea will be blue. And then we will do the globe purple. Why not? Oh, right now, does it need? Just a little bit for this. Here's a narrow one. What have we got in this? Beauty abounds. That's that'll do. There we are. And let's see. Do we need a little label? Here's a purple label. It's quite good. Or pink, no. Part one. I just want something plain. There's a num there's a wee number. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I've almost emptied a whole box. One of the Kallax uh, fabric boxes that fit into the cube was filled with these cute stamps. Like I say, my favourite things, Waffle Flower, Alt New, lots of different American brands. So I'm glad they're going to nice new homes and getting used because they've been languishing here. <laughs> it's a shame. There. So we've got another wee double page done. Right, so what will we do? Will we do one more? What have we not used? What have we not used? We haven't used these, this label set, but I'm wondering they're not really, they're not big enough to, I think, I think we'll do some more of these. put that one back and I'll put my globe safely over there. there. So 
So I don't know what channel it's on, but it's an American program called Will Somebody Feed Phil? Is it Phil? Will Somebody Feed Phil? Yes. Yes, I'm sure it's called that. He's one of the writers. I think he's a comedian, but he's also one of the writers from um, Everybody. Everyone loves Raymond. Everybody loves Raymond. That program. Anyway, apparently it's been going quite a long time, but but we've only just discovered it, and we've only just discovered it because I'm going to do the same sort of thing and go off the page up here. Because now he visits different countries and eats, as the title may suggest, the food from that country. Um, so he came to, Cla well he came, yes he came to Scotland, I think he was in Edinburgh, it was a few weeks ago we watched it, um, but he came to Glasgow anyway, that's the main thing, he came to Glasgow and, right, what are we going to do with this? I think we will use Whoops, that's the stickers down. We won't use the stickers. I need to do a huge tidy up now. <laughs> Oops. I just won't push them out the way. <laughs> oh dear. It's well seen I haven't made a video for a while. Right, this was chock full and they're all over the floor now. But, no, I think I'll go with the florals. Um, yeah, well, oh yes, yeah, oh there's a lovely blue. Let's see if there's, is there another blue one that's a bit different? There's a blue one there. So, yes, we came to Glasgow and he actually visited the area that we are going to where the new house is. That's nice. So we were quite <laughs> we were quite interested in seeing it on the telly. Um the uh, so when he met, meets up with some local uh, celebrities the uh, he met up with Kelly McDonald who was in train spotting and Harry Potter and he met up with um, some people that own a famous cafe and uh, yeah and it was really good he's quite a quite a funny guy quite amusing I think we'll go right on the top of that oh my goodness it's going to take me half an hour to tidy up after this video what a mess and now I'm all squinty right the label Mm. No. Some washi. Let's see, have we got some blue? Whoops. <laughs> there's some there's some blue. I think I've got some blue. Is that blue? No, I think that's grey. There's blue. Right. Not that I want to be matchy matchy, but I sort of do. I think just a little bit, just to bring things together. We'll go over the flowers and over the. So yeah, so if you get a chance to watch, I think it's Will Somebody Feed Phil? Oh, I don't know if I like the gold stars, that's a wee bit. No, it's a wee bit not what I want. There's a little bit of blue in that. A wee pop of colour. Yeah. Good. I think 
I'm going to leave it there because it's going to take me an hour to tidy up. But let's have a wee recap. If I can reach <laughs> what we've done. Right. So here are all the pages. Let's just clear off. I hope I've been in the centre this whole time. Let's see. <laughs> right, so that's the one we just did. Nice. And then there was this one. And then this grungy one, arty one. This one. Just two bits of washi in that one. Another painty one. The one with the texture paste. And then all the ones that I did off camera, just with stickers. Um, oh, they're stamping on that one. That's another florally one. It's nice. So, like I say, you could just actually, if you fancied, a quick... journal just using everything that we made today how nice is that that one's a slightly bigger size. Let's move that one to the outside just for the sake of looking at it just now. So that could easily be the start of a journal if you wanted just to immediately use them. I think I would be pleased with that. as a start of a of an art journal rather than maybe a journaling journal. There's still plenty of pages and you're not dealing with a blank page. Still plenty to do and even add more to what's already there. Like you could certainly do something on top of that. happy with them so thanks Melina for the idea and um, I shall link Melina's video in the description box and so yeah so that's me thanks for joining me if you've enjoyed the video a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time bye for now